Still goes like the dream. What do you call that? That, mate, is our future. Come on. Oh, it's your gate, old man. He's been a rat catcher for years. So how'd you get it? Well, it's down to our Jerry, really. He's been punting it out as a favour. Funding the money to Jerry's missus. You know, helping her out. Doing time with the scrubs. Yeah, but we don't know anything about rat catching. Nothing to know. I've got a book out on it last night. All you've got to do is put down a bit of poison. Must be more to it than that, eh? There you go. Archie's little nest. Yeah, stinks a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Must be the poison. We're not going to trap him, are we? No. That's not what rat catching's about these days. I don't like, do I? Nor do you. I don't see how we can walk into people's places saying we're rat catchers when we don't know the first thing about it. I'll tell you the first thing. You put some poison down in a box. And the second thing is it's worth a couple of hundred to clear out a warehouse. So stick your overalls on. Very professional. Right, what we've got to do is we've got to stick an ad in the load. We'll get our name about a bit. Have some cards printed up. We've got to do everything right now we're in business. Listen, man, I'm not wearing this outfit. If we're going to be hanging about for days waiting for work, all right? Oi, who's going to be hanging about waiting for days? We're going to be on the road now. This is the age of the small businessman, Billy. It's all out there, just for the taking. Must have prospects. <laughs> If somebody's got mice, they don't want it shouted about, please. Yeah. I see what you mean, yeah. I mean, it's sort of quiet, confident approach, yeah? Sort of, we know you know, and we know you know we know. That's what Yeah, I like it. Of course. 
I know you want to keep this problem on the QT. We're known in the trade for our down-to-earth, keep-it-in-a-family attitude, but problems do arise with RATS and MICE. And we're the ones to confidentially sort it all out for you. Mice. Mice! Ah. Lice. Lice. Blood lice. No, not lice, you stupid fuck. Mice! M squeak, squeak. Mice, squeak. You like our dear, you like one to my middle. You show me a boom, man. You want to learn, Jung. You jump down, Jung, she jumped over toe tongue. You tell me, my male. Punch your father. Peace out. Great business this, isn't it? Six places we've been today, and each time you've drawn a blank. We need to convince them that we've got something they need. Well, what have we got? Nothing. You mean to tell me you want to come in here, charge me £200 to get rid of mice I haven't even seen? All right, but call it 100 eh? If I see any mice, I'll go to the chemist and get some stuff for five bob, won't I? Now go on, clear off out. But the chemist, they ain't got the real stuff, have they? They ain't got the right poison. See, in supermarkets, you get super mice. They special poison, man. Oh, well, that's just where you're wrong, isn't it? Because we ain't a supermarket. We're the hypermarket. Ah, the old hypermass. Well, you've got big problems. Oh, oh come on. Oh, big problems, sir. Pretty good, eh? The world's infested with rodents and we can't get in on the action. Can you believe it? Yeah, I believe it. Where the hell have you been? Well, what's it here, pal? It's not what it is to me. It what it is to Mr. Savage. He's only thrown the gate five times, asking if you had arrived. You want to get this crate started and get on with the rat catching while you still got a job? We're on our way, pal. Oh, excuse me, where is it exactly we're supposed to go? Well, across the road, what's the matter with you? Sorry, mate, I just forgot. We've had a really heavy morning, all right? We're not going on. Of course we are. We can't just walk in. I mean, who are we supposed to be seeing? What are we supposed to be doing, man? Don't get bogged down with details, but this could be our lucky break. I'm not interested in your excuses. When I make an appointment, I keep it. I expect others to do the same. No, but seriously, Gov, we were involved in some sticky business with some mice, weren't we? Yeah, right. Must have given you hard time to keep you all morning. What were they? Super mice? No, but funny you should say that. It was actually worse. Hyper mice. Hyper mice? Haven't you heard of them? But they're everywhere. Where? Uh, everywhere. Yeah. That's why we're under this constant pressure, you see. We're the only rodent engineers in the locale who can deal with them. We are permanently knackered in the fight against the Bangkok Viper. They actually come from Bangkok, do they? Yeah, they come over on the ships, you see. That's the problem, you see. They're very resistant to all our strains of poison. We have a formula, though. One microdot of which will have it back in its nest and dead within half an hour. Well, you'd better get on with it then, before they start breeding round here. Right you are, God, we're right onto it now. side of the office and uh, you do that side. Who are you looking at? That should take care of the hype mask for you for a couple of weeks, mate. Good. 
Mr Sibley be sending an invoice then, will he? Um, well, to tell you the truth, Gov, we wouldn't mind pound notes this time. Just to ease the cash flow situation we find ourselves in. I suppose that can be arranged from petty cash. If that's what Mr Sibley wants. Oh, definitely. Ah, here he is now. Oh, a thousand apologies, Mr. Sturridge, sir. <coughs> what can I say? What can we say? The van broke down in Romford. Of all places. No problem, Mr. Sibley. Your lads are taking care of everything. And very impressed I am with them, too. Oh, what? Your lads. They're not our lads. Nothing to do with us, Mr. Sturridge, sir. But they've done your work. Can't do our work. Our work? That's impersonating the pest controller. Well, there's obviously been some kind of mix up, okay? Come on, let's go. Just a minute, please. Mr. Sibley, as far as I'm concerned, you have just paid the price of being late. Now, I'm going to pay these lads for the work they've done. And as far as the future's concerned, I presume you can handle the hypermouse. The what? I see. Your firm hasn't got the equipment, then. What, what equipment? Well, it seems as if today's events have turned out for the best, doesn't it? This is the age of technology, Mr. Sibley. You've got to move with the times. We move with them, Mr. Starry. Just tell us where to go. Well, if you don't know, I can't tell you. If you lads come and see me tomorrow morning, I'll have your money. Oh, and there's a couple of other warehouses I want you to have a look at. Yeah, well, I think we can fit that in sometime tomorrow, don't you, Mr. Pearson? You should be able to, Mr. Pearson. We've got to deal with the hypermouse while we're on top. Oh, and you better give me a number in case I need to contact you in an emergency. Oh, well, we're between offices at the moment, primarily due to expansion. I'll give you a new telephone number tomorrow. Good. Right, then, uh... We've got other jobs to get on to. We'll be off. Is that it then, Mr. Sturridge, sir? I mean, after four years of faithful service, four years of loyalty and, and discounted invoices. That's business, I'm afraid, Mr. Sibley. <coughs> Ipermouse. Ipermouse. You've got to find out about it. I mean, they're expanding as well. Oh, no. We'd follow him. Come on, hurry up. We were real rat catchers and they didn't know what we were on about. We can use the hypermouse scheme anywhere. People really go for it. Well, Sturridge did, didn't they? <laughs> Everyone will. There's the van. We're going to need an office. We need money for an office. Ah, the country's going to the dogs, pal. You've got to pick offices up for next to nothing. It'll have to be nothing in our case, not next to. We're giving him away. I'll tell you what, though. We can get Mona in as our secretary. She's looking for a part-time position. Yeah. Mind you. I thought she already had one. Oh, hello. Fancy bumping into each other coincidentally in a pub like this, eh? <laughs> anyway, no hard feelings about what happened, eh? I mean, it's all in the trade, isn't it? Rat eats rat. <laughs> You've been in the business long? Fair time? Yes, how we used to work for the council before they made us freelance. Self-employed now, of course, you know. A bit of a headache with the tax and the stamps, but you know, we manage somehow. <laughs> well, we all do, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, seeing as we're all together having a friendly chat, you know, in the business, uh, what substance are you using on this hypermouse then? Oh, well, that's it, isn't it? That's the point. What are we using? Hyper Wolf. Oh, so that's the uh, secret ingredient, eh? They're using Hyper Wolf, Stan. What's that? Never heard of it. Nor have I. They wouldn't, would they? No. No. It's our own formula, you see. We mix up the ingredients ourselves. Isn't that right, Mr. Pence? Yeah, that's what we do, Mr. Pence. Well, got a crack one. Ow, works piling up. Oh, st stay and have a drink of me and stay. <laughs> Some other time, eh? Oh. They're going to put us out of business. Out of business? We've got to find out about this album now, so we've had it. And he hit I can feel myself going. I mean, they're one up all round. We've got to find the poison. I'm going to be laid up, I know I am. No hit. It's the worry, you see. I've got to calm down, got to calm down. Calm down? Yeah, I'll have a drink and I'll calm down. Have that double Vic, please, no. Is that a double Vic with ice and lemon? What you reckon, Ed, Oh, it's a really lovely office, Jimmy. Soon 
as I've cleaned it up, I'm going to put some pictures up on the wall, make it nice and cosy, you know? Do you like it? What we really need is some nice chairs. You know them swivelly sort, like they have in offices? Yeah. And of course, some new carpet and some curtains. While you're at it, you may as well paint the ceiling. And we could put up some of that nice flat paper on the walls. That'd make it really posh looking. Hang on a minute. I mean, we just might have to start getting some incomings before we start on these outgoings. I thought you said you had a lot of work on. Oh, we have. It's such. But it's such a thing as company overheads to find, you know, office rent, equipment, wages. <clears throat> oh, while we're talking about wages, you still haven't told me how much I'm getting paid. Haven't I? No. Well, I thought we might, you know, see how that goes. Well, what does that mean? Well, you know, sort of play it by ear. I can't live on ears. Well, all right. How much do you think you should be getting? Well, it won't be less than eight pounds a week. Will it? No. Well, in fact, I was thinking of uh, quite a bit more than eight a week. Were you? Yeah, well, I see you as uh, like my right-hand woman. Oh, that's nice. You see, you'd be more on the receptionist and the secretary. You'd be more like a, a private personal assistant. Oh. Yeah, more like a, an executive. Am I? Definitely. And together, the three of us are going to build this company up into a very, very active and prosperous concern. We'll do all the work. We'll expand. We'll take on more people, other offices. In five years' time, we could go public. And as we're all in it together, we're all going to share in the profits, aren't we? We're going to take them all. Me, Bill and you. Oh, it's a very executive position, then. Oh, it is. The only thing we've got to bear in mind is that we've all got to help in the first few difficult weeks of business by taking a low wage, if you see what I mean. Oh, well, if you're building for the future, you don't mind, do you? That's it. It's an investment, isn't it? Absolutely. So that's why I thought in the first, like, month, we'd only have, like, a tenner a week wages. Just so that the business can expand. A tenner? Yeah. Oh, you want to share in the big profits, don't you? Yeah. And you want your executive position? Yeah. And it's only for the first few weeks. Oh, well, I suppose I'll be able to manage somehow. Yeah, we're going to crack it with his business. Do you really think so? Oh, I know. Stick with me, babe. Oh. It's nice being an executive. Nothing less than you deserve. Ready to go? Yeah, just about. Oh, Jimmy, about that tenner, could I have him now? Because I ain't got no money. Ah, oh, yeah, well, you just uh, caught me a bit on the op. Uh, I'll have to give it to you later. Pins and Pearson Rodent Engineers, Executive Assistant speaking. 7426. Wrong number. Work, 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 work. Graph day. Yep. There he is again. What? He's following us, I'm sure. He can't be. Let's find out. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh, I've got to call this a coincidence, eh? You've been following us. What's the game? We're not following you. Nobody here is following anybody. You've been following us all morning. Don't let me stand. He'll hurt me. Look, just keep out oh. of our way. Right? What do we do now? What do we do now? What do we do now? I know what we do. Excuse me, Lance. Lance, excuse me. You got a moment? <coughs> I, I was thinking, you know, as we seem to be bumping into each other quite a bit, maybe we should sort a couple of things out, you know, like certain firms for certain areas, sort of thing. Hang up, well. He's trying to restrict the practices on us, isn't he? No, 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 no closed shops, nothing like that. I was thinking more in terms of you take one area and we take another. No, we're happy as we are, thank you. Yeah, just hang on, hang on, hang on. I can make it worth your while. You let me have West Ham and Dog Island and you can have everywhere else. How much? 200 pounds. <laughs> you must be joking. That's a morning turnover for us. It's 300 pounds, eh? Oh, and four, four, 400 pounds. Four, four, 450. 450 pounds. Almost my whole life savers. It ain't normally to me face. There's only one thing for you. we got to use the same tactics on them they use on us. Look, Cecil, shouldn't we be getting on with some work? There's no time for that now. I don't call Lane on the floor in executive position. Well, just think about it a bit. We might get a bit more comfortable, aren't you? Oh, comfortable for what? You know, a bit of a cuddle. In my office, I am an executive assistant. I ain't in it for a bit of a cuddle. You may well be an executive assistant, but when the executive director asks you for a bit of a cuddle under the table, that's what you've got to do. Who says? I do. I'm not too sure this is all working out as I planned. And what about that tenner you owe me? It's all in hand. Yeah, there's a bit too much in hand, if you ask me. There's Billy. No, it can't be. It's not due into half past. Well, it's somebody. No, the door's locked. They'll go away. Oh, you said the door was locked. I'm sorry about that. We're just looking for my secretary's contact lens. Executive assistant? And I don't wear contact lenses. Anyway, what can I do for you, sir? I hear you've taken over for Manchi. Yeah, that's right. Can you handle clearing a ship, then? Of what? Rat. Oh, yeah, we have very experienced staff as far as the ship or Black Rat is concerned. Rat is rat is. I'm offering the same terms as I work with Archie. 250 pounds cash for you to put your poison down. You invoiced me for 500. Oh, I see. A little bit of, uh... A little bit of nothing, Jimmy. Exactly what I was going to say. Well, we can do it for you this afternoon, if you want. Aye, yeah, that'll do. The ship is moored at the end of Thames War. Right. You'll find me in the chief steward's cabin. OK. See you then. What was all that about? He's just giving us a job clearing a ship of rats. What's great? Spanning. <laughs> There's some money to be made in the shipping game. Yeah, that's what they said about the Titanic. They've gone. Come on, let's go. Right, I'm going. What are we going to say? This is Pinson Pearson. Yeah. Are they in? You can't see them, can you? They're not in. It's difficult. Very difficult. Uh, perhaps you could tell us where they are, Miss. We uh, need to speak to the Virgin, like. They're at Teasdale's. Oh, well, where are they going after that? Ten floor to do a ship. Oh, thank you very much. We could catch them there, right? You got a cold or something? No, it's just a bit of congestion. I'll be all right. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yeah! Hello, Murray. It's me, Jimmy. Any messages? Who? Oh. Well, you're supposed to take their names. That's what you paid for. 
If I can refresh your memory, I haven't actually been paid yet. All right, you'll get your money at the end of the week. Now, what does this bloke look like? Up his nose? Yeah. They asked where you was working. Yeah. They said they'd catch you there later. Steaming git! Come on, Bill. Work, he? Yeah, you've got a bottle to do that. If Phoenix had job, I'll give him a bottle right across his nut. There he is. Down a submarine. Looks like it could be before long. <laughs> Give me a show when you're done. Right, you are, Guff. We'll have a butcher's first, eh? See where the best place to put some poison is. Don't even know where the best place is. Well, I don't know. Anywhere, I suppose. some water and then go up for some air, eh? Sweet. Yeah. We've laid down the poison, Chief. Yeah, we're dropping like flies now. Good. Well, you'll be back tomorrow to clear them up then, won't you? That you always did for his 250. Yeah, all right. You could always earn yourself a little bit uh, extra if you fancy it. Archie always did. Oh, but Archie did a lot, didn't he? How? Well, we always got to Scandinavia from here. And you know what the price of booze is like out there. So I take some bottles out, just for a few people, you know. Help keep the cost down a bit. Well, you got to keep the cost down, haven't you? That's right. Now, if you want to bring me some... Whiskey. I'm willing to pay you fifteen pounds a bottle. Done. Hang on a minute. We don't want to get into anything illegal now, do we? There's nothing illegal about it, son. It's just wholesaling. Yeah, that's what I call it. Right. This is what you do. You put your bottles in your plastic bags so that the commissioners don't see them on the way in, and then you put them in a little place in the engine room. That's the way Archie always worked. Well, what's good for old Archie, eh? Archie's inside. But we won't be, will we? Right, it's a deal, mate. You can collect your rat money when you clear them tomorrow. Well, there's 900 notes there. I want five cases, 12 bottles per case. That's 60 bottles, right? You get 15 quid a bottle. You'll make a good profit out of the deal. And if you get funny with me, 
I should get very nasty with you. Straight down the line, Chop, yeah? All right. You'd better be. Get this. He wants us to take them to the other end of the engine room where there's a little cubby hole. He wants us to stash them in. Oh, God. I hope those rats are dead. Oh, no. I forgot we've got to clear all them up and all, haven't we? Come on, Tarzan. Talk about walking a plank. Mind those bottles. All right, all right. I'd like to have a wee look. Yeah, I guess, mate. 33, 34, 30. There's only 35 here, you Torag. Well, the other 25 are back at the office, aren't they? We couldn't manage it all in one go. Get the rest tomorrow. What's wrong with today? A lot of work to do, you know. Well, listen, you'll be here by first light, right? We sail at 12. I don't want to go without my whiskey now, do I, Jim? Don't worry, Chief. It's all in hand. Can't see any rats at all. Well, we can't go past him with empty bags. <sighs> Look, I'll tell you what. I'll stick some rubbish in the bag, right? I've noticed, will it? But I hope not. Here's to us, then. To us. Worked out to everybody's satisfaction, didn't it? Yeah, for once. Here's your right money. Right. And here's your invoice for 500 notes. Ah, all nice and neat. That's the way I like to do business. Well, let's drink the business then, eh? <sighs> and to continue in our business enterprises on your return. Don't forget. Don't be late tomorrow, yeah? We won't be, Chief. Have we ever let you down yet? Well, the sooner you get it out of here, the better. It's like working in an off license. Well, could be better. Come Stop moving your mouth and go and get us some more bags. Anything yet? I'm just gonna give the plugs a clean. See if that gets us started. I'm just gonna pop in and get some tobacco, alright? Alright. Sailing in an hour. He's not going to come looking for us now, is he? He can when he comes back. We'll have changed offices by then. Are you sure you don't want me to answer? Just that? leave it alone. I'm getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. Right. I'll shut up then. Where's my whiskey? Hello, Jock. Didn't expect to see you. I expected you, though. First late this morning. Yeah, we've had a bit of a problem. That's nothing to what you've got coming. Look, let's just take it easy, OK? Now, I can explain, and there's no need for any unnecessary violence, eh? It's a 
people might get up. There's a young lady in the office. What is it? Calm down and I'll tell you. Look, it was an accident, all right. We left the bottles in the side of the road and the bin men put it in a dust cart. They thought it was rubbish. You expect me to believe that? That's what happened. You're a bit of conniving bastards. Look, don't do anything you might regret, eh? I won't do nothing. Just as long as I get my 375 quid back. Well, look, I'm reimbursing for the missing bottles. I mean, that goes without saying. Of course you will, my son. Of course you will. I'll take that for the inconvenience. Hang on, Chi. You got too many notes there. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to play with a grown-up, you have to stick to the rules. You all right, Jimmy Kings? Did he hurt you? Get off! I'm all right. You are? Right? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh, how much are we sure? 600. What? Oh. Do you know something? Every time we get something going that brings in a bit of dosh, it all goes downhill. Yeah. It's like someone sitting there saying, oh, look, those two are doing a bit too well, better slap them back down a bit. Don't let them get too comfortable or get enough money to buy a few bits and pieces or eat too regular. It's all right. Sick maker. Come on, it's not that bad. <sighs> all right, so we lost 600 quid. We still got the business, though. We just have to earn it again, that's all. Ah, we ain't got that much work on. Come on, it will pick up. It seems to me like it's all going down. <sighs> Tell you what, phone Mona, all right? See if any customers are coming, yeah? Yeah, all right. All right. Look, it's no use asking me. I don't know when they're going to be back, do I? You don't want to wait to go home, can't you? Pearson Rodent Engineers. Hello, Mona. It's me. Jimmy Kins. Who? Who is he? Prince. What's going on? There's a man wants to talk to you about VAT. Somebody else wants to sort out some tax. And there's the public health inspector. And there's some clients that want to have some words about more mice appearing than before you started. I don't think they're very happy, Jimmy. Is that Mr. Pitts? Hold on a minute. Somebody talking and I can't hold five conversations at once. May I have a word with him? No, I'm having a word with him. Right, it's me again. Mr. Sturridge left a message to say you've got to get round there as quick as you can because they can hear noises and they think it's the hypermouse. What? You ain't got Romford in the diary. Well, all right, I'll tell him, but you shouldn't be going there. There's no need for language. Charming. He says to tell you he's gone to Romford and he's going to be there till the end of the month. Did you look at the office? Yeah, well, I went up the stairs, like. Yeah, and? Well, I just went up and poked me in the office, that's all. And what did you see? No, nothing. Well, you know. Come on, Stan, let's have it. The customer? Two customers? Not any more. Sam bleeding packed with customers, weren't you? Oh, that's it. That's my life's, my life's work down the sewer. I mean, I've been pushed aside by the younger generation. I can't compete like this. I've finished. Kaput! I've still got five years to go on the mortgage. I mean, what am I going to do? Look, why don't you eat your it before it gets cold? No, I don't want to eat it. It'll lost my appetite. You've got a week, that's all. Nice bit of fish like that. It's a waste. Come on, just eat a bit of it. And now this is run out on me. Why are all those people complaining, eh? I mean, we put down enough poison to kill anything that moves. We'll have to go and pick up that load of poison, then we can do some work and earn some dosh. Yeah, it would be nice. Since we're 600 down. I've got sacks of this and stuff. Is it a lot, do you? Yeah, all the time. Right, well, I must admit, it's a bit unusual for people to use traps these days. What? Rat traps? Yeah, rat traps. You are using traps. 
course. Just for one minute, I thought... <laughs> Maybe you were putting this bait down without the traps. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody rats are thinking of a party, wouldn't they? They'd be coming from miles around. Excuse me, um, there's been a bit of a mix-up. Uh, we'll have the poison today. We'll come back next week for the bait. All right. Yeah, I know. <sighs> That's why they've been complaining. We've been laying down bait. That was out, I know. But you could have checked, though, couldn't you? But no, nah, no, nah, I have to go and shut off your big mouth. Billy, I know all about it. Sorry. Oh, and that's what we're going to do, eh? Well, pay back all those customers. We can put it right, can't we? All we got to do is go around and put poison down everywhere. It's going to take ages, man. Well, let's get moving. We'll do sturridges first, right? The secretaries have been complaining of noises over there. They can hear scratching sounds. Yeah, well, they could be around behind there. There's a false wall you got there, Mr. Sturridge. Never had any problems there before? Yeah, well, we'll sort it out for you, Mr. S. I'm sure you will, Mr. Pince. Otherwise, I should be asking you to fulfil the terms of your guarantee and return our money. Well, look, leave it with us. Uh, we'll sort it out. All right. Right. <sighs> Bit heavy, wasn't it? It's got every right to be if we've attracted mice from miles around. Good dose of this wallop will sort them out. Wait a minute. This way. What are you Let's have a look, see what's behind. Stuff in the van, and I'm going on. And you better bring my money round as soon as you get it. <laughs> I'll pay you in rep, boys. <laughs> 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 They've gone bankrupt. <laughs> As you, Cecil, still blocked, is it? Seven hundred pounds. There's no more money. This is my final offer. Final offer? You want to buy us out? Now, you lads are young. You can move around, get about. I mean, all London is at your feet. Not like me. I mean, I'm settled now. I just want to work this area. Work this area? So the seven hundred is to buy us out, is it? I don't want your van. I don't want your stock. This is just for the customers and, of course, the goodwill. Goodwill. Done. You agree? It's yours. It's all mine. It's all mine. You wear that stamp? Congratulations, Cecil. We are back in business. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll be off then. Oh, just a moment, lads. I'd like you to sign this before you go. What is it? This is the transfer of business document. It means that we can take all your existing customers. You can have them. Best to keep it all above board and legal, innit? <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself, Cecil. Well, congratulations from both of us. Thank you, Thank son. You. <laughs> I think we've got some talking to do. About mice, haven't we? Ah, excuse me, Mr. Sturridge. Sir. If there's any talking to do, I suggest that you talk to the proprietor of Pinson and Pearson, which just happens to be me, <laughs> as it happens. As it happens. You? That's right, yes, I've taken over the company. Well, I'll talk to you then. So we'll be off then. My warehouse has been overrun with mice, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. Apart from loss of stock, damage done, there's no work going on because of the mice. Now, I've got your guarantee, and I intend to sue. And I shouldn't be at all surprised if it don't come to £10,000 in damages. Now, what you gonna do about it? I'll kill them! I'll kill them both! I'll kill them both! Cecil. Yeah, well, as he said, right, he's rat. Right. 
you want a lift? Got your wages. Gonna take me home then? No, I thought you'd buy us a drink, you know. Typical. The sun sets on the tips, another day comes to an end. We've got the night ahead and in the morning. Is it just another day? Or will prospects find a way on the grown and city streets, hoping for tomorrow? We're working for tomorrow 